Hi everybody, welcome back. As you can see, we are back in my bathroom. A couple of changes have been made, you may have noticed. I um, added a little wallpaper and there are things around here that you can't see, but trust me, it feels good. I wanted to um, make some changes in my bathroom. That's why we went downstairs in my kitchen and for a while I thought that might be the place to do these tutorials because the lighting looks so pretty. And a lot of you agreed but many of you said the bathroom setting was a better setting so maybe you could get a light and fix that well what do you know i got a light so i think the lighting in here is a little bit better and i also got a microphone so we don't sound too hollow you know this might start looking professional <laughs> god forbid <laughs> anyway i hope it's better it's good being in the bathroom setting especially for the tutorial that i'm going to do today because i need all these things around me we're talking hair today i get so many questions about my hair and my hairstyle and let me also state for the record just like i said in my very first video here on youtube i am i am my people i have no hairstylist uh, at channel 2 or makeup artist or wardrobe person i i do it all myself so obviously I get my hair cut by a professional, but I style it every day on my own. You may have noticed lately it's been rather humid in the Houston area. So I have, shocker, naturally curly hair. I mean really curly. What you see here is what you get. So whenever you see me with straight hair on television, that's because I have fought tooth and nail to pull every single strand as straight as I possibly could, set it with hairspray, and hope and prayed it would stay in place. Well, let me tell you, with this kind of weather, there's no way that's gonna happen. So I figure instead of fighting it, I'm just gonna go along with it and allow it to be curly for the time being. And who knows, maybe I'll stick with it because I have to tell you, it's a lot easier doing it this way than it is straightening it out. But the process, it's interesting, the process for either wearing it curly or wearing it straight is quite similar when it comes to products. So I'm going to walk you through step-by-step step for curly hair girls, how to really emphasize your curls, how to create root lift, volume here, contained curls so that you don't look like Pippi Longstocking out the here with a whole layer of frizz on top. You want it to be contained. You want to have the volume here and the curls pulled down and you want them shiny. For my straight haired viewers, no worries. You can have curly, voluminous hair as well. The techniques are a little bit different, but we're gonna use similar products to make that happen. So I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step on how to create soft, bouncy curls and how to be able to keep them through the humidity. So I'm gonna hit the rewind button. Are you ready? Beep. Okay, so here's our starting point. As you can see, I have a nice head of wet hair and you can probably notice the curls that are starting to come in place because this is what God gave me, a head full of curly and kind of frizzy hair. I'm going to maximize what I got. The products that I'm gonna use are, obviously this one, I mentioned this in my previous video of my favorite products. This is my Schwarzkopf, got to be fantastic. It's a mousse and it gives lots of volume. And that's what you want. You want volume and you want your um, curls to be able to stay in place. And if you have straight hair, uh, this is great because it will give your hair that bend that it needs, especially as you use products like um, uh, a curling iron and things to be able to help you create that curl. A mousse will give your hair the opportunity to hold on to that curl. So I'm just applying this mousse all over my head. I'm focusing primarily on my roots, my scalp, and then I just pull it on out. So I make sure that I've got this product pretty much saturated through my hair. And the next product that I'm going to use, if you have straight hair, this one will not be for you because you don't have to worry about that outer layer of frizz, you know, that, that puff that we uh, curly gals get in humid weather. But this one is by uh, Bioinfusion and it's a keratin silk smoothing serum. That's what it looks like. This helps me contain that outer layer of frizz, especially on these really humid days when you step outside and your hair just takes on a life of its own. This will be your best friend, curly hair girls. Just a little bit, you know, I'd say no more than a pump. It's all you need because you don't want to weigh your hair down too much. But I just sort of tap this on the outer layer, focusing on more the front part. This is where I really tend to frizz. 
and I just use a very light hand. I try to stay away from my root because again, you don't want to flatten out your root. The whole idea is to give the roots some volume, but you want your, your mane to be tame. You want those curls to be curly and not frizzy. So this will really help you with that. Now what I'm going to do is I've got some longer bangs and I'm going to blow dry these in a way where the bangs lay smooth and straight. You don't want really curly kinky bangs. You want them to have a nice sort of wave going up front. And then I'm going to allow the curl to come in on the rest of my ends here by creating volume at the root. And I'm going to use a couple of brushes to do that. I've got smaller brushes right here and this one with the metal really helps in creating some root lift and this one right here it's a small round brush but the bristles are very close to each other gives lots of pull this is a really good one for smoothing and straightening if you have long hair you can use a larger cylinder brush to be able to tackle the longer hair mine is short so my brushes are smaller all right here we go and what i'm doing here by the way i'm, I'm blow drying it side to side and this is a great way to get some volume at your root my hair lays this way this is my part. So what I'll do is I'll flip it and I'll bring it to the other side and blow dry it this way, which gives some nice volume. So always go the opposite direction in which your hair grows to get some root lift. Okay, and as you can see, the curl is really starting to come in now. I was just taking the dampness out of the hair. So this is where I really start to work with it. I'm going to take my smoothing brush and I'm gonna start working on my bang. And it's gonna be a two-fold process. I'm gonna pull it forward like this, and then I'm going to go on my part line. The trick in pulling it forward is if you've noticed a lot of the bang style isn't the straight down anymore, it's more of a side swept, but in being side swept, it has to have a little bit of a swoop coming forward. That's what gives it that more modern feel for it to sort of lay flat here on the forehead and go off to the side. And the way you create that look is by taking your brush and pulling it forward and then sweeping to the side. So you can see it's sweeping forward. Now to get a little lift up in here, we take that same brush and I go along my part line and I take the hairs that run along the part and here I'm just putting the brush right at the base of the root and I'm going to put my blow dryer right on that let it cool for a bit and that's how you get volume right there at your root see how that just immediately popped up and gave me some lift oops I'm going to do that now farther back because I like to have lift at my crown so it's going to be the same technique I'm going to pull along my part line but I'm not I don't want to straighten my ends so again, I'm just sticking that brush, anchoring it nice and tightly along the part, and then I'm warming up my roots. This is where that mousse, by the way, really, really works because it creates that bend in the hair and it allows it to stay after it's cooled. So after I've dried my roots, I give it a few seconds just to cool off. That sets it in place, and I lift my brush. And I keep working my way around wherever I want to have some volume along my part. As you can see, my hair is starting to air dry on its own and it's really getting a lot of curl and wave. And I'm going to use a hot iron in just a moment. And the reason for that is, it's not that I need more curl, but I find that the spiral curling iron helps me eliminate this top layer of frizz that comes in. For you ladies with straight hair, at this point, what you need to do to be able to create curls on a hot, humid day, any day for that matter, you go through the same products, but for you to get root lift because you're not worried about containing frizz, you blow dry your hair upside down. And that way you get your roots full of volume by going upside down. When you flip back over, your ends are going to be straight, but you're still gonna have mousse in your hair. So when you apply that spiral curling iron and you use that, your hair is really going to hold on to those curls. But at the same point, you're gonna have nice volume at your roots. You don't want a flat look here and then curls coming out here. It's the opposite. You want some nice volume with contained curls coming down the side. So I'm gonna continue working on my roots here. And then letting it go. 
and just shaking it. And when I run my fingers through it, did you see what I did there? This area gets really frizzy and this happens a lot of you ladies with curly hair, you get all that frizz around here. So I'll take the brush and I'll smooth out the frizz, but I'll still allow it to curl around the brush. Okay, so I'm now gonna dry the rest of my hair on a lower speed and just shaking it dry and scrunching it, pushing it forward, lifting it in the back. Okay, so at this point my hair is pretty much dry, but as you can see, it's quite puffy and it's got a little bit of frizz. So just because I have curly hair doesn't mean I'm going to stay away from the spiral curling iron. In fact, what I find it does is eliminate that layer of frizz and just enhances the curl a little bit more. It also helps with shine. So I'm now going to take my hair section by section and I've got my curling iron on the lowest setting possible when it comes to heat because again I really don't need a lot of curl but what this will do is take out the frizz and I just slide it through my main pieces and I just go on the areas where the sections are frizzy which is usually the top layer and I'll just pull it through one by one. What's nice is if you have curly hair when you do this your hair will really hold on to the curls. Now for you ladies who have straight hair and you want to create the curly look, depending on the length of your hair, that's going to determine the size of the spiral iron that you're going to use. Obviously my hair is short, so I'm using a smaller spiral iron. If you have long hair, you'll want to use a thicker barrel. You can do um, an inch to an inch and a half in diameter. Uh, it'll give you more of a wavy look. Uh, this gives me a little more of a tighter curl, which is what I have naturally. So I'm really trying to mimic what I've got. But again, I'm just taking out some of that frizz as I work my way around. Now, for you straight haired gals, what you do, you already have mousse in your hair, but this is how you really, really get your hair to hold the curl. As you have the spiral iron in your hair, it's wrapped around. If you have straight hair, take your hairspray at this point, hit it with hairspray let it sit for a bit and then pull it out and that hairspray on top of the mousse that you've used in your hair will really really create some intense hold and it will help those curls stay in place and again I'm just working through the sections I'm really not spending a lot of time as you can see it's just more of a pull through but again you can see you can see where the frizzies really like to come in here so I have to uh, spend a little more time on the front pieces to get that kink out and again, just pull it back into place after you dry it. And then my ends in the back, just because my hair is in a bob cut, uh, I flip the bottom pieces up. Let it cool and just release it. You might recall that I showed you a product um, in my last video, <laughs> clunk, <laughs> everything falls around me. Um, this was my root lift. It's called uh, Living Proof Amp. And this is that cream that I use on my roots to really get some nice volume. So I'm going to take a little bit of this. See, it looks like that. I'm going to rub it between my fingers. It sort of melts away, but I'm going to go upside down now and I'm going to apply this directly on my scalp and especially the areas where I want to have a lot of volume, which will be the crown, the part line, and a little bit of around the front. You ready? Be back in a second. Okay. Bam! <laughs> Whoa! All right, but you see this product lives up to what it says. It gives huge root lift, which I love. I love it. It's great. This is a glossing cream, which I use for either my curly looks or my straight looks. And it is such a wonderful finish. It provides this terrific shine. So if you have a really straight hairstyle where you want to accentuate the lines of your cut, take a little bit of this glossing cream, you rub it through and you, you pull it through and it's just, it's shiny, it shows the angle. But in this case, when you have curls, you don't want curls to look dull. So I take a small amount of the Frederick Fakai glossing cream, about that much rub it together in my hands and then I'm just hitting my ends right here. This is where it gets frizzy but it gives a nice smooth silky finish. Really cuts out that frizz and I'll tell you what when you've got the kind of humidity that we have around here this week you need all the help you can get. All you do is take your fingers and just play with it until you get the pieces where you want it 
And then when you're happy with the way everything looks, you take your favorite hairspray. You know which one mine is, my Kenra, volume 25. Mwah! And then you just hit it. Here's the trick. You don't want to hit along your part line because that flattens everything you've done. When you have curly hair, you want to hit hairspray on the bottom side. So I go along the bottom and I pull my pieces up and push it up. And that way you're guaranteed to have bouncy, fluffy, separated, silky curls that will stand the test of our godforsaken ferocious humidity and you will come out looking better for it. I hope you have learned a lot. I hope this has been helpful for you. So enjoy your curly hair. Make the most of it. Don't let the humidity ruin your look. Work with it and um, go out there. Be bold. Be blessed. Follow me on social media and KPRC Local 2 and I'll see you next week. Mwah!